Hello, I'm Gareth from IMGS, and I'm going to speak to you briefly today around a solution from Safe Software called FME. And I'm going to do this in the context of enterprise data integration for local and central government. I think most people viewing this will agree with the challenges that are up on screen at the moment. I'm not going to go through them all, but two of the key ones that I come across on a regular basis are cross team data sharing. This is something that's definitely come to the forefront over the past two years with remote working and our current hybrid working situations. Also, data variety, the volume of that data and its interoperability with inside the organization. So its ability to be able to put it into other enterprise applications to make sure that it's compatible. How FME can help with this is its ability to be able to connect, transform and share data but in an automated fashion. So when I say connect, it's the ability to connect to over 450 systems and um, including both spatial and non-spatial. Once connected, that data can then be transformed in over 500 different ways, whether that's structured or unstructured, or just the ability to apply a set of business rules uh, onto that data to ensure that it's authoritative. Once the data is as you would like it, uh, that data can then be shared within the organization or made available to citizens through self-service portals or open data portals, etc. The final piece that links it all together is that automation piece. So again, FME gives the enterprise that ability to automate these workflows to be able to push and pull data in and out of these different applications and apply sets of business rules and share it or distribute around the organization. I just wanted to put this slide up to really show the breadth of applications or industries or verticals that it falls under. So there's traditional GIS like um, GIS, CAD, BIM, Raster, Point Cloud, but then also what a lot of people wouldn't realize about FME is its ability to be able to connect to uh, big data and uh, warehouses, IoT devices, uh, gaming engines um, and business intelligence platforms as well as many others. An example of this kind of in enterprise integration is you may have a GIS or an IT team that needs to be able to pull information um, from a cloud system, let's just say Office 365, maybe perhaps something from SharePoint or from OneDrive, um, and they also might need to pull in additional information from enterprise applications, whether it would be from uh, Snowflake or from Oracle or from Hexagon from a GIS perspective or Esri. And then the traditional pulling information in from on-premise data sources, whether that's from an enterprise SQL database or Oracle database, or is it an individual working on an Excel sheet in a bit of a data silo or an excess database? So again, that ability to be able to pull that information in from these multiple different sources around the organization and to be able to then integrate that data or integrate into other applications for it to be displayed in a business intelligence platform, for example, or to apply data quality checks to it to ensure that it is authoritative um, or, and then to automate those workflows. So that individual or that department uh, on the GIS or IT side uh, doesn't have to be manually kicking off these processes um, whenever a user requests it. The final piece in this puzzle is the ability to make that data then available to uh, business users, decision makers and customers. Uh, when I say customers, it could be in a commercial sense, but it could be customers inside the, uh, the organization. So other departments uh, would be, could be customers or could be classed as customers of GIS and IT. And citizens would also be classed as a customer. So again, for them to have that ability to be able to download open data sets or to be able to request a pre-planning report themselves on their own device um, instead of having to go into the council or the building itself. This has been a really, really quick overview, but just to summarize, FME does give that ability uh, to streamline government or, um, operations. I think one of the key messages I was trying to get across today is to make a target of data accessible. Again, to take that overhead from these departments that have to, as a request comes in, manually gather these different data sources together and then distribute it back out to the individual or to that particular department or citizen to have that automation piece where they can come in, say, I want this data over this particular time frame. I want it in this particular format and then press OK or run and then have that data there and then on whatever the device may be, whether that's a desktop or a mobile device. Again, and enhance public service delivery. So again, that streamlining of it to take that overhead off these departments so they can start to look at more value add um, operations around the organization and to empower data modernization. So again, it's that proactive approach to data management and to self-service um, that I think is paramount here. It's been very, very brief, but thank you for taking the time. Uh, I'm Gareth Cronin. I'm the commercial manager here at IMGS. Contact details are below. If you'd like to see more, please don't be afraid to reach out to me. Thank you.